hello guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to format a second timer into the uh what do you call it like like into the into the default type of time so i mean so this is seconds right so i have made a small script here which will print in seconds so this is like a timer which goes for 120 seconds right so if I now run the game and if I go to the output in seconds it's going down but it's going in seconds right so after 60 seconds it's gonna be one minute like it should show in the one minute form right so that's what I'm gonna be showing you all today how to do it so for this we need a time module so I'll give a module link in the description and just uh, get it and once you get it you can acquire it by going to the toolbox my models and it will be right there so once you get it it will be a module so put it I'm gonna put it under the script so I can quickly get it so this is gonna be the time module so I'm gonna just call it TMF and we are going to require uh, script dot TFM oh it's TFM alright so since it's inside the script I just told script dot TFM if it's in the replicated storage then you should say replicate storage.tfm or wherever it is so now it's in tfm so we should require it if not it won't work and here now we are going to get the time so local time so every second it should be updated so i'm gonna call it t so since it should be updated every second we do it like this right t and here we're gonna say tfm colon convert over here we are going to put the second so I and there are some uh, types you can put like even hours it will even show the days sometimes default is the normal one if you want to see more you can go to the module itself and it will show default form short form full form right and then it will be a boolean so it will be true or false if we put true then it will show the zeros if we put false it won't show the zeros so we should put true and now we just print the t so this should work so i'm gonna open the output and run it as you can see here now it, it goes in the minute format so as you can see it goes in the minute format so let me just explain the script again fast so I have made a countdown this is pretty simple it's a for loop and for 120 seconds it's gonna keep on decreasing and we convert it to the time so since it is 120 it's going to be two minutes so it's going to go two minutes if you want um four minutes then go with 240 and if you like want to increase it more you just go with it uh this is how you convert it to the time format uh so yeah uh hope you enjoy this video uh peace out